Hi. So there is a gate question given in the last year. So it is about uh, routers. Um, to understand that, I have already taught this concept in the classes. If you apply that concept, you are going to get the answer. But let me just uh, show you the question here. So the question is some network is given. Okay. And then they are asking how many subnets are there because of the placement of the router, uh, we are going to get subnets. So what I mean to say is now if you have a network, you can if you place a router inside it, then you can divide into multiple parts. Okay, rather than this, I will explain you by other example. So what I mean to say is, let us say there is a network. Okay. Now this is connected to a router and this is connected to a network. Okay. So what you should understand is if a host has to send a message to this router in order to send a packet outside then the router should also be present in this network otherwise you cannot communicate two hosts in this in this case a router is also like a host two hosts can communicate with each other if they are present in the same network otherwise they cannot communicate now you have to put this router inside this network also similarly if a host here wants to communicate with this router then even this uh, net this router should be present in this network also how are you going to place a router in two different networks right so practically what we do is we are going to assign one ip address from this network to this interface this interface is going to get one ip address and similarly one ip address from this network will be assigned to this interface right which means now this interface will be in this network and this interface will be in this network right understood that so let us say there is a network there is a network and there are two hosts two hosts in it and it is connected to a router like this and it is connected to a router like this then how many ip addresses are required in this case in this network how many ip addresses are required one ip address is required for this interface and other ip address is required for this host other ip address is required here and one more IP address from this network has to be given to this interface. So you may think that we need only four IP addresses. But then if you buy a block of four IP addresses, two IP addresses are going to be wasted for the block ID and the directed broadcast address. What I mean to say is if you are going to have four IP addresses, then you have to buy at least six ip addresses isn't it why because four hosts are there for now consider that router is a host two three four one two three four four hosts are there along with these four hosts one ip address should be given to the network id and one IP address should be given to the directed broadcast address, right? Therefore, you should buy a block of six. But can you buy a block of six? You should always buy a block of two power K. Therefore, the total number of IP addresses that you are supposed to buy is eight IPs, right? Two power three block you should buy. What is two power three block slash 29? you have to buy a block of slash 29 why because host id is 3 bits therefore network id would be 29 bits you have to buy those many right now one more interesting question you may get in this concept is for example i have a router and it is directly connected to a router then how many ip addresses are required in this network Actually, there is no network between them. See, in this case, there is a network. Here, there is no network. 
then what we do is we have to assume that it is a network which means we have to assume that there is a network here and one IP address should be given to this and one IP address should be given to this interface. Therefore, we need two IP addresses along with that. Now it is forming a network. Understand this. Now it is actually forming a network with two hosts, which are nothing but two routers. Now for those two hosts, you are going to give uh, one network ID as well as directed broadcast address which means for this network you may not see the network but then there is a network here with two ip addresses now along with those two ip addresses there should be two more ip addresses if it is a network right then what are those two ip addresses one is the network id and other is the directed broadcast address therefore you are going to get a total of you need a total of four right so you need a block of size four Block of size 4 means 2 power 2, which means you have to buy slash 30 block in CIDR, slash 30 block in CIDR, right? So always remember that between two routers, you have to assume that there is a network, right? Now, if you try to solve all these questions, I solve. So guys, if you are preparing for gate computer science and if you are, uh, the, if you are watching this video, I have covered all these points in a very detail, high detail in my live classes. So go to the website ravindrababuravla.in and you join the classes every day. You are going to get live classes from 7 p.m. Okay. So the website is ravindrababuravla.in. Okay. I have explained all these things in the class and uh, I'm just revising it here. So now if you observe it, this is a network, right? Clearly it is a network because it is on one side of whenever there is one side of the router uh, that creates a subnet. So this is a subnet and again, this is a subnet. Even though there is only one server, it is a subnet. Now these two routers are connected. So this is also a subnet. A subnet is formed here, right? And firewall is also like a router which has seven layers. We will talk about it in the class. Now this is also a network, right? So how many networks we have? So we have, yeah, here also we have a network. So firewall and router. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six totally six networks we have and this part we are not counting it because they have written it as internet and they are asking only about the subnets so only six subnets are formed okay so guys uh, uh, if you want to register for the course you please register and uh, the classes are at 7 pm live every day ravindrababuravla.in okay thank you